What's up guys? Welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, got a pretty awesome gun here today. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Nautilus Ammunition. If you guys are interested in a down-to-earth company that keeps everything in this area and cares about the performance of what you guys shoot, definitely go check out Nautilus Ammunition. Super clean burning stuff. If you are interested, you can check out a uh, little discount code down in the description. And yeah, let's uh, not forget to keep our, our guns clean and lubricated with Goliath Gun Care. So these guys have jumped on board and honestly, I wasn't trying to pursue a gun cleaner or anything like that, but they sent it over and I put this on and it really friggin' works, man. So not only does it work, but their oil is super nice. I threw this on a couple of the test guns in the past few days and it's it's legit it really is so goliath gun care the other cool part about this is it doesn't have an odor to it so if you are you know sensitive to stuff like that this is where it's at so uh definitely go check out nautilus ammunition as well as goliath gun care and now let's get down to business so this is what we're going to be talking about today and uh i am going to be honest I don't own this gun. So the same customer that sent me the Alien, which I might never give back, sent me out the new DWX. And this one looks a touch different than normal because Impact Machines actually rammed this SRO as far down into the slide as possible. I mean, look at that thing. You can barely fit a piece of paper in between here. This is literally the lowest you are going to get. So what is the DWX? It is, in my opinion, if you took a CZ, like a, like a Shadow 2 or something like that, and a 1911, and you had a baby with them, and this is what is going to come out. So it is a fully metal gun. You have aluminum grips, I believe. Let's test here and find out. Um, yeah, the frame feel seems to be alum or I'm sorry, seems to be steel because the magnet is sticking to it. And we'll try in the front here. Yes, so it is a steel-framed gun. Um, it has a full Picatinny rail. Uh, you can see here we do have a gas pedal built onto it. It's something that attaches to it here. It's nice for people, competition shooters, you throw your hand on there. It just gives you a contact point to be able to mitigate recoil. You guys see I use a ton of them on my 2011s. But um, it's a 5-inch gun. It is a bull barrel. And this is an absolute work of art, honestly. You have a flush cut and crowned setup I mean, just look at that. They got absolutely beautiful machining and then a nice flush look. You have the recoil rod. The recoil rod seems to be like, uh, it's not plastic. It's, it's like maybe a, an aluminum. It's a very thin rod and then they don't go with a traditional um, round wire setup. This is more of a flat wire recoil spring Basically like what you would get in a Glock. I'm sure all of you have looked at your Glock springs before and noticed that they are built like a slinky pretty much. So the gun, it definitely, it recoils very nicely with what it has. It has the bull barrel that is cut. This is the way Atlas cuts theirs. If you could see, it's kind of got like a ramp on it right there. This really does aid in accuracy, the lockup. Uh, I mean... The gun, it's very well thought of and thought through. You have some serrations up top here. That's going to get rid of all of the glare if you're out in the sun trying to shoot. You have a super nice low uh, fiber optic up front. And then, like I said, Impact Machines can set you right with burying the SRO in there. Otherwise, the gun just comes with a normal iron sight setup. 
Uh, they don't have plates or anything like that. I'm sure it's going to come down the road. This is definitely a gun that uh, people were really excited about, me included. But I don't know what happened. They had some issues with trying to get actual production numbers out. Um, when you're talking about the ignition, this is why I said 1911. So we are empty. As you can see, we have thumb safeties and it is a single action only set up exactly the way that a 1911 would be. And this trigger, you can see minimal take up with, I mean, a super light and crisp trigger pull reset very short tactile to the point and then boom this thing let's check it i think we were rolling around i wanted to say three pounds something like that so four and a half pounds let's check that one more time just to verify everybody knows these trigger gauges yeah so it's four and a half pounds you don't really think it's four and a half pounds when you're out on the range this thing is an absolute tack driver. So, like I said, you have the 1911 internals. Uh, I am very interested to see if I can modify this. If this was mine, I would already have it torn apart. But like I said, I wanted to basically give you an idea of what we have before anything. I have seen some guys replace these um, grip panels. The texturing is very nice. It is like a, a knurling and i mean it's very very grippy you are not dropping this you have the texturing up front I, like i said if you guys have held a cz shadow 2 this feels exactly like it but the benefit of having the 1911 style trigger i mean this gun definitely feels like a 1911 but uh the five inch barrel it is absolutely perfect one thing I would try to do is toss on a magwell. I have seen a couple of guys already replacing the uh, grips and the magwell. Uh, they're probably going with something like LOX grips. And then I don't know where the magwell came from. It kind of looks like the ones that are on the Shadow 2, which is perfect because I think those guns look sick. They just always needed a rail up front. Uh, the one I owned was an absolute tack driver. But... Um, Everything else is very 1911-like. You have the little uh, slide stop on this side. You have, like I said, the thumb safeties, which I'm sure can easily be changed out to maybe throw on some Atlas ones or something like that. I don't see any reason besides some minor fitting that would uh, go into actually putting them on. But these are super wide compared to anything else that I've seen in a while. They're very tactile. It's just an all-around well-built gun. I can see why it took some time to get it out. So uh, if you guys are interested, definitely go check out the DWX by Dan Wesson. Dan Wesson is an absolute god in the gun world. And uh, I mean, as you can see here, the video just doesn't do it any justice. This gun rocks. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check out the Dan Wesson DWX. Um... Now comes the important stuff as well. I have a Patreon. If you guys are interested in, you know, basically joining the Patreon, look down below. You will find the link to the Patreon account as well as my email in case you have any kind of questions about anything. Uh, other than that, I will absolutely put every single dollar that I receive from the Patreon back into this channel to give you guys what you deserve. And that's better content, better guns, and overall better upgrades with explanations of everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this footage. And other than that, please stay safe. Remember, believe and achieve. We'll check you later.